So I hope you had a go at doing that triple description exercise and if not I suggest you stop the video and go back and try out the exercise because it's really through doing and practicing these exercises that we can experience it correctly. But in any case we're moving on now and we're going on to goals and getting what you want in life because after all that's what it's all about right? Using NLP and self-empowerment to try to have the life that you want. So we're talking about goal setting, well formed outcomes. But to introduce us to that, we must first talk about the conscious and unconscious mind. Because there are definitely these two parts that are um, in us. And when people have conflicts, it's nearly always a conflict between the conscious and unconscious mind. This is obvious when I'm sure that you've made a New Year's resolution to do something like give up chocolate or drink less wine or whatever and it lasts for a certain amount of time, maybe a couple of weeks after the New Year and then it sort of just goes by the wayside. Now you've had every conscious intention of following that New Year's resolution when you made it but somewhere along the line a force more powerful than your conscious mind was able to interrupt you and decide that you wouldn't hold that New Year's resolution. And that is the unconscious mind. So our unconscious mind, or let's say our mind is like an iceberg, this is a good way of uh, describing it, and the unconscious part is that massive part of ice that we don't see beneath the level of the water. But even though we don't see it, it is far more powerful than that part of our conscious mind uh, which is making rational decisions. So the object, uh, first of all, of getting what you want is of course to make sure that you get rid of all conflict with the unconscious mind. Because if what you want is not in alignment with the unconscious mind, then you're going to struggle to achieve that. And vice versa, if the unconscious mind knows what it wants, you hardly need to really worry about a thing, you can forget the whole thing and the unconscious mind will automatically start to seek opportunities out there in the world which will lead you closer and closer to what the unconscious mind is um, desiring. So this is really the foundation of the conscious and unconscious mind and it's important to think about this when we talk about well-formed outcomes because the main part of it is to structure a well-formed goal or a well-formed outcome in a way in which the unconscious mind best resonates with that. Um, and the unconscious mind can sort of be seen as a, a younger you. They say the unconscious mind stops uh, maturing at about the age of seven and so it's like this seven-year-old uh, part of you um, that is nevertheless very, very powerful. So we need to condense it into a way which is really in alignment with the unconscious mind and then we'll have a much better chance of success of getting our goals in life. So let's talk about that now. Okay, so we actually use this an acronym CREATE YOUR FUTURE because CREATE is a good reminder of the six steps that are useful in putting something in the form that will be taken up by our unconscious mind. You might have also heard of SMART goals. That's very, very similar to this one. So that one can be used as well. But this one is CREATE. And the C stands for concise and clear. In other words, your goal must be very, very clear to you. Having a very imprecise goal, like Oh, I sort of want my business to be performing well by sometime in the future next year is not really a concise or a clear goal. In fact, what they say is you should be able to have almost a picture, a sound and a feeling, you know, like a, a, sen a five senses description of what you're seeing, hearing and feeling when you get your goal. So for example, I've got 39 customers by the middle of next year. Um, might be something a little bit more concise and clear. The next is realistic. So I guess one test is to say, can anybody else do it? Because we know that if someone else can do it, then we can too. 
And you might also want to just do a check in yourself to see if you feel it's realistic. And if it doesn't feel realistic to you, then two things could be happened. One is that it may not be physically realistic, or two, you may have uh, conflicts or incongruencies which you might want to work on within yourself, making you prone to self-doubt, that sort of thing. The next is ecological. Now, when we talk about ecology, we talk about three things. Is it positive and safe for yourself? Is it positive and safe for your family and those around you? And is it positive and safe for the planet? And if all of those three things are a yes, then it's ecological for you to do so. So uh, the A stands for as if now. And again, this ties into the concise and clear is you need to be able to picture yourself uh, achieving this goal. And this really is talking to the unconscious mind because the unconscious mind doesn't really understand words and intellectual ideas. What it understands is tactile, you know, visual, auditory. So if you can see yourself achieve, achieving that goal, then you're much more likely for the unconscious mind to resonate with and go after it. Remember the sort of giving up chocolate or whatever at New Year's, at New Year's? The, the giving up um, is not something that the conscious, it's hard to make a picture of because it's not doing something. Or it's giving up something which means it's, it's not doing what it remembers to do. Instead what it remembers, the unconscious mind thinks about the actual doing, the yum of eating chocolate. And so naturally, that's going to manifest. Um, so a goal instead might be uh, eating yummy carrots and salad four or five times a week in replacement of bad foods or whatever. So that's just an example. The next is it needs to be timed. The T is timed uh, and toward. I'll speak about that in a sec. But it needs to be that uh, you have to have a date on it. So... If it's sometime next year, what will happen is your goal will just keep getting strung out more and more and more and you'll never achieve it on time because you have not no time. The next is toward, uh, which is lingo for means there has to be a feeling of enthusiasm towards what you're trying to achieve. If you want to achieve something because of a fear, that will have a detrimental effect and also it won't be very pleasant in trying to get that goal. So if you have a uh, fear of being lonely and you want 500 Facebook friends or whatever to allay that fear, I know it's a bit silly, but uh, that is going to be uh, less achievable and less pleasant than if you uh, visualize yourself playing sport with some new friends that you feel really attached to, say. Uh, so that's being towards. And finally, the E means the end step or evidence procedure. And this double checks that it is a real outcome. Remember, originally we talked about a state not being um, an outcome. So if your goal is sort of to be happy, then there's no real evidence there. But if your goal is to be happy because you've achieved a certain uh, activity or sort of perhaps um, finished a certain sporting activity, so you're standing on the podium uh, receiving a medal for a certain race that you've had a goal towards, that has an evidence uh, behind it. You can see yourself doing what you're doing. So if all of those uh, six items are present then your goal is what we call well formed and it resonates very very well with the unconscious mind and is far more likely to manifest in the future so i hope that's helpful and you can feel free to ask any questions on that um, during our live training when you come to our come and try seminar but um in order, before we finish, I suggest very strongly that you think of 
two or three goals in your life and run them through this criteria. And there's actually, I'm going to give you a cheat uh, now because um, there's a way in which we can combine all of these six very, very simply into one sentence. And if you put your goal in this one sentence, then we are combining uh, most or all of these different criteria. And the sentence is, it is now, and then you insert the date when you want the goal, and I am, or I have, and you write a description of what you are doing during that end step on that date when you're achieving that goal. And if you can write it succinctly, then it will be a very, very clear picture that has an end step. It'll be timed. It'll be writing as if now uh, and realistic because you can see yourself doing it. And then if you can also check ecology, that would be good too. And that will have all of those aspects into it. So again, the sentence is, it is now dot dot dot, you insert the date and I am, and then you insert whatever it is that you're doing when you're achieving that goal. Okay, I hope that's helpful and I really look forward to hearing what your goals are.